Welcome to our learning videos on web search skills. My name is David, and I am a certified internet research specialist. You are watching volume four, unit one of the three parts. In this unit, we will introduce you to title search using Google advanced search operators. The title search uses operators in title, colon, and all in title, colon. Both operators look for matches in the title element of snippets. The title element creates value that is crucial for the search to index pages and for the user to find matches in title statements. It is the title text that gives the first stop check for search crawlers to learn what the page is about before it can be indexed in the proper category. It is the in-title operator that reads and matches the search terms inside the title tags of HTML and presents the title statement in return snippets. The title text search operators work well when you are looking for terms that are short names, brands or online profiles, book titles, movie titles, or anything that typically is a title statement. The only drawback for querying the title on web pages is that they are a short length of text. This narrows the likelihood of finding terms where they are too many or when you are not exactly sure if they are the correct terms that belong in the title text. While using the in title, the user should be cautious to apply the operator as a choice under certain conditions of its use. At the same time, know that the in title or all in title will not perform well when the title text queried is too long or too short and the search term is a part of the web page but not a part of the title statement. Let us look at a few illustrative examples. In examples, one, A, and example, two, B, you will find conditions that typically bring null results. In a query, A, you can observe that the in title command tries to match the text of a long sentence, which is not a general rule for a title statement held in a title tag. Therefore, the title search may not execute. In query, B, the in title command tries to find a short and appears to be an incomplete sentence, and generally, these words may not be suitable for being included in any title statements of indexed pages. As a result, the in title will fetch unsuccessful search results. Let us now run search queries with in title and all in title operators. The in title, shown in query number 1, searches exact match to the word internet due to its placement immediately after the colon sign of the operator. The search then tries matching the subsequent words, search, engine, and index. Notice that in the snippet results title text, the search found three words, internet, search, and engine, shown in marking C, but decided to drop the word index. Therefore, to enforce all four words in the title text, you can use an alternative query number two with multiple instances of the in title command. An even better and more concise alternative to query two is shown in query three, where you may use the all in title command instead of applying the in title multiple times. If quotation marks are inserted as shown in query example four, you are making all four words become a search phrase. This means that the match is for an entire phrase internet search engine index and is not intended to find separate words that are scattered everywhere on indexed pages. In order to recap all of the above query examples, the search query one is not the same as queries numbered two, three, and four. And query two and three works the same. Whereas query four is not the same as queries one, two, and three. The search with the operator, all in title, delivers results shown in the snippet. The search is forced to match all four words in query one by simply using the all in title command. The query example two is a substitute for query one that delivers exact same results by applying the in title multiple times. In query example three, you will end up with null results. This is because the all in title is an absolute command that will not work with more than one occurrence of the same operator. In query four, we applied two instances of all in title using the Boolean operator, OR, and by allowing two sets of search terms allocated to each instance of all in title. With this arrangement, the search avoided the null results, unlike what we got in the previous query, three. However, the results were unsatisfactory. In this case, 
The search exhibited a behavior illustrated in function 4.1. It was observed that the search enforced the presence of the word internet in title texts. It completely ignored the second instance of the operator all in title as if it is non-existent. The words search and engine became paired as one set of choices against the set of words index and technology with the Boolean OR operator. In short, query 1 is the same as query 2, whereas query 3 is invalid. And query 4 will execute but it will not return the intended search results. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time with more learning videos coming up soon. Visit us at www.afears.org for more informative content.